You keeping an eye on the watch, Private? 300 seconds, and not a second to spare. And don't forget, never look directly into the sun. Seconds left. Damn it. Looks like my measuring equipment is broken. No, I'm afraid. I'm afraid it's working perfectly fine. 240 seconds left. We just received news from Antarctica, Machu Picchu, and Eastern Oceania. Their measurements match ours. We're expecting a solar flare similar to the Oswald flare from 2113 within the next two weeks. We all know that the terrestrial magnetic field can't protect us from a flare of the scale anymore. Our time is up. It's not too late yet, Quadi. We still have a chance. Well, yeah, what about the Phoenix plan? We could escape. The Phoenix plan is not an evacuation plan, Hardy. Quite the opposite. No. Salvador is right. A manipulation is our last chance. What are they talking about? Is the security of our pilots provided for by now? Nigel, we are looking at certain death for every living thing in two weeks. We don't have a choice, I'm afraid. It's time we dare to take the final step. Step back to the past. have enough spare parts. <sighs> it never ends, does it? Okay then, let's see what's wrong with this thing. Aha! So that's the problem, the belt tour. But where can I get a new one? Maybe it can still be fixed. It's stuck. That would explain the torn belt. It's useless. Away with it! Oh well, it's worth a try. Not sure that will hold. That's it. The belt tore again. There's no help for it. I need to replace it. He feeds on the parasites in the wood, just not quickly enough. Good riddance.
The fishing rod was Dr. Angus' suggestion. It is very meditative, Bent. It will help you find peace. I've been sitting at the bank each morning since then, apathetically staring into the water. In the past, we came here each summer. Meta hoped that we could grow old here together. Not much left of this dream. Only the house and I. Chaos in the streets of Oslo. At 11 o'clock this morning, violent protesters stormed the European headquarters of the International Energy Inspection Agency. They protested the planned renewal of licenses for a total of seven power plants operated by the controversial energy corporation Indes Industries. During the protests, some militant participants even managed to take hostages. A spokesman of the agency. We were open to peaceful dialogue right from the beginning, but the current situation forces us to take drastic measures. The activists must understand that they can't force political decision making with their illegal and extremist actions. If their actions have any impact on the decision at all, it will be a negative one. Meanwhile, the first injured are taken away and the police are preparing for a long night. It will probably be one of the longest nights in an otherwise peaceful- And the world keeps turning without me. Sometimes Dr. Angus comes for a visit. That's why I have a second chair. I'm not a screwdriver. Ways out of workaholism by Gunnar Larson. I don't know. At least a screwdriver is useful. Our summer vacation to Italy. Meta beamed, like always, and all I had on my mind was probably how to save the world. I wonder if we could have been happy if I had focused on our relationship instead of on our planet's future. <sighs> I'm so sorry, Meta. I sacrificed both of us in the end, for a vision no one even cared about. Even during our trip to Italy, I was only thinking about my algae research. I can see it in my eyes. My team on the Atlas XI. <laughs> we really thought the future of the world was resting on our shoulders. Don't look like that, boy. You can do all those things now your dad didn't allow when you were younger. He'll make it. I look tired, but happy. Don't worry, Lissa. I'll manage somehow. Not a photo for the press, obviously. If it were, Barney would look completely different. They represent the rest of the personnel. By now, the team has grown so much that neither Barney nor I know who works for us anymore. Works for him, that is. That looks suspiciously like. Well, well, look what I've found. I don't even remember hiding it here. Was I really that drunk? Oh, the bottles are still here, but then who else but me should take them away? A sad sight. It only holds the basics. I'll put that away tomorrow. I should do that, but not today. My bed. At first, I tried to sleep in the bed Meta and I shared. Then I moved to Duva's bunk. My son takes care of my life's work, and I sleep in his old childhood bed. I told Dr. Angus that I find fishing abhorrent, so she suggested the fish trap. This boat has seen better times, but it's still floating. That's part of living near the water these days. I would have done that once, but it will not even take a week before it looks like this again. A cisphene labor. How long haven't I been down here? A 
Okay, let's take a look. Hey, there was a screwdriver in there. I better take it. How many summer nights did I spend down here, staring at the algae cells? <laughs> did I really believe I could change the world? <laughs> How fitting. It stopped at five minutes to midnight. The symbolism is disquieting. On the other hand, five to twelve for all eternity is better than the clock striking midnight someday. Studies about photosynthesis Construction plans for greenhouses, chemical data, I know them all by heart. An old bicycle tube. <laughs> Duva's bike. That old thing. We made a tour down the fjord, along the coast, and down to the sea. At that time, the atlas was being renovated, and while I was waiting for new assignments, I had all the time in the world to be a good dad. It's strange how things change. Let's see... Yes. Vince Vincent? Yes, that would be me. Wait, I'm coming. Maybe you could tell me what you were doing sneaking around this place. You gave me quite a fright. I didn't intend to. Are you Vince Vincent? Yes, I am, but... What do you need? I need your help. You've come to the wrong place then. I am retired. But it's very, very important. Much is on the line. Well, all right, but let me finish my work first. I hate to leave a job undone. Do I know you? I know your work. That is the reason why I need to talk to you. Nothing can be important enough not to get an appointment first. Is that your helicopter out there? It belongs to a friend, I think. Nice outfit. Are you military? No, I am from a different organization. Please, wait a second. I am busy right now. But... The sooner you let me finish my work, the sooner I will have time for you. It fits. It fits. I go in circles, which means I have the advantage over the belt. Rapeseed oil. Until some years ago, it was only good for lamp oil. Today we use it as salad dressing and to prove the bad energy balance of biofuels. It's completely rusted. Okay, that should work. Right. 
That should do the trick. Ah, damn it. Someone has to hold the shutter to keep the stupid screwdriver from popping out again. I could use your help. Is that really important? I don't have much time. If you really want my help... Okay, okay, fine. What do you want me to do? Just come up here. There we are. What's this machine for? The fogger keeps the wood fresh until winter. I need you over here. You must push down this shutter while I operate the switch over there. Do you think you can do that? Of course. I'm ready. Well then. Well, these things happen. But there's no alternative if you want to get rid of the vermin. And I need the wood for heating. You are so stupid. Oh, great. I've got a visit from Miss Hypersensitivity. Wait. Wait. Is that your generic answer to every problem? Huh? Oh, come on. What's with all this fuss? Maybe I was wrong. Maybe you can't help me after all. Help? Help with what, for Christ's sake? I am retired. I don't help anyone anymore. Oh, please. Don't look so sad. Maybe it would be best... <coughs> what? <coughs> What's wrong with you? Water. I need... water. What now? Svensson? Hello, Bent. This is Dr. Angus speaking. You sound a bit stressed out. It's a bad time. I have a visitor. Uh, uh, uh. What did I tell you about stress? Uh, Please, uh. Doc. The woman doesn't feel well. She has a seizure or... We've talked about this a thousand times, Bent. Your do-gooder complex even earned you a stay in the hospital. You are not responsible for the whole world. What? But... Please repeat. I am not responsible for the whole world. I don't have time for your mind games right now. You don't have the time? It was the old Bent who never had the time for anything. Remember that, man? Dark circles around the eyes. Worry lines. The maniac who stayed in his lab until the wee hours of the morning and never noticed how life passed him by. Until he woke up in intensive care at the Marine Hospital. But you are the new Bent now. A Bent that no longer feels responsible for the whole world. Come on, I want to hear it from you. But I have to help this woman. You have to help yourself first. We've already talked about your do-gooder complex, haven't we? You have a right to be egoistic. You are not responsible for the whole world. Say it. I am not responsible for the whole world. That's it. Now, get some rest. Why don't you go fishing? 
Because I don't want to be part of the overfishing of the seas? Uh, uh, uh. What did I tell you? I am not responsible for the whole world. Just remember that. I'll call you tomorrow. So long. Yes, so long. Okay, now, about you. Why don't you tell me what brings you here? What brings me here? Okay. Mutual trust. My name is Faye. I am a time travel pilot. Confrontation. I come from the future. Mankind is facing extinction. What's that? What are you talking about? And what is that note for? Guidelines for trans-temporal contacting. I told them I couldn't do this. <laughs> no. Are you serious? Salvador was right. Talk is useless. Oh, please. Give me a break. Fine. You are from the future. Or from the Muppet Show. But what's that got to do with me? What do you want from me? Your research. Nonsense. In my time, mankind is dying. Animals are dying. Trees. The whole world is dying. Your research could prevent that. I'm not responsible for the whole world. Oh, but you are, Bent. Actually, you are the only one who can help me. The only one who can stop the worst from happening. You, Bent. And you alone are responsible for the whole world. You can't know that, but in 500 years from today, the world is a wasteland. Everything is destroyed. The surface uninhabitable. The last survivors live in bunkers below ground and mankind teeters on the brink of extinction. Well, that's... fascinating. Do you believe me? Yes. Yes, of course. That's the team. See? This is Hardy. He was sent to the Zwiebelberg to talk to the rulers there. And where's that supposed to be? In Neverland? Um, I'm not sure, but I don't think that's where it is. Who is the woman in the red sweater? Saudi. She's my best friend. She went to South America. On a student exchange? No, we don't have things to exchange. All this materialism was what doomed the world in the first place. We don't need all that in the future. We just want to survive. All right, never mind. It was a misunderstanding. Please calm down. Dina and Joseph were eager to go to Europia. After the mission, they wanted to see the art there. I don't know. So you are not into art? I just don't see how that can help us saving the world. Joseph spent a lot of time in the archives. That was where he learned everything there is to know about the world. That must have been quite a lot. Oh, well, not that much, really. But he must have read everything that was still legible at least a hundred times. Oh, that is Delvin. He is something like a prodigy. He fixed the new mater on his own, before anyone even knew that the thing was broken. Delvin gets along with everybody. He looks scared. We all were. Each in our own way. You don't look very happy. I'm nervous. After all, I'm supposed to save the world. Hmm. I guess everyone believes that at some point. Nigel is my mentor. He took care of me after my parents died. I'm sorry. I didn't know. What happened to them? They were wind scouts. They miscalculated the vertical pressure of the toxosphere. The kites held, but the anchor tore. That... um... sorry to hear that. That's okay. You couldn't know. This man, the bald one, he looks important. That's Quadi, our commander. His task is to keep everyone in the colony alive. I think it was hard for him to send us on such a difficult mission. Who is that? That? Oh, that's Salvador. He was in Norway, too. I'm sure you'll meet him soon. And he comes from the future as well? Yes. Yes, of course. Where do you think the picture was taken? Uh, on a space station? On Mars? Don't be ridiculous. 
You'll understand soon. Pretty costumes. So, why are you doing this? You still don't understand? In our time, the world is coming to an end. The catastrophe is too far advanced. We are time travel pilots. We were sent to the year 2050 to stop the climate change. Excuse me? We wanted to redress the mistakes of mankind, but we miscalculated. Faye, are you still alive? Uh, I'm not sure. Doesn't feel like it. Stop joking. We are here. How do you know without... Uh... Take me to your leader. Ouch! Damn it. You okay? Don't touch the shell. Yeah. Thanks. I know that now. Say hello to the year 2050. Hello, 2050. It's hard to believe, isn't it? We really made it to the past. Wow! You can see the sky. And breathe in the air. <coughs> Yikes! The air tastes strange. Leaden. Somehow, the golden past looked different in my imagination. Less... Dirty. I hope the other teams didn't end up on a garbage dump as well. We should get started immediately. When have you become so dutiful, Faye? Did the time jump change you that much? But you are right. You should set up the time radio antenna wh while I look around. Um, Nigel? What now? What exactly do you want me to do? <sighs> Set up the time radio antenna, of course. Did you fall asleep during the briefing? You can find the antenna in the capsule storage compartment. There should be a manual there somewhere as well. Maybe I shouldn't have skipped training. Is there anything else you wanted to know? How about this? I take a look around, and you set up the antenna. You were trained to operate the time radio transmitter, not me. Anything else? What exactly is our mission? We search out the political leaders, take them to task, and convince them to take more care of the planet. That's the plan? Yes, that's the plan. Why? Sounds a little naive. It's a matter of survival for mankind, the future of our planet. Of course they will listen. Anything else? Nothing. See you later. I'll be right back. I don't believe a word of this. This madness. Please listen to me, Ben. Ridiculous. I was told to set up the time radio antenna to contact the other teams. 